When you go to the beach, this is one animal you're bound to see, a seagull. In fact, lots of them if you start chucking your lunch at them. When you do that, they begin to argue between themselves. Watch the head movements, because all that ducking and bowing means something in seagull language. Some of it means threat, I give in, feed me. It really is quite a complex language that they have. And a lot of birds do that by ducking their head up and down, and sometimes with their cockatoos raising a crest. It's an interesting set of movements, even if you don't understand it, you can make a model that does the same thing. In fact, several models. All you need to do is to get yourself an empty drink can and have a few bits and pieces around the house. Well, this is the aluminium kind. It's easily crushed, so make sure it's not crushed before you begin. But remove the tab from the top, wash it out, and dry it as well. Then all you need to do is to take a felt pen and draw around this top rim. By doing that, you put ink on it. You can then transfer that ink onto a piece of paper by turning the can upside down and giving it a bit of a twist. Now that's going to mark on the paper a ring of exactly the right size to fit the top of the can. And you can now begin. Let's bring it down here. A dotted line across that, halfway across that, is a good guide because on the top of that I'm going to draw a bird's head. I'm going to do a rather rough cockatoo here. There's the crest, there's the back of the neck. Here we come down to the hooky beak. It's not very good, but it'll do for demonstration purposes because I want now to bend the paper up along that dotted line. Well, let's turn to one that really is a bit better drawn. Here it is. It's a major Mitchell cockatoo, or it's going to be when it's coloured. And by bending that up along the dotted line there, I can keep that tab free as I turn it over and put glue on the back. A good smear all over there means that I can then transfer that glue side down to another piece of pink paper. What I've got there is a cockatoo's head which is double thickness above the dotted line and signal thickness below. And those two tabs won't stick to each other, there's no glue. At that stage I can cut the whole thing out, going around the outside. And when I've done that and putting in the correct colours of the crest, I'll end up with a head that's like this. There we are, a major Mitchell cockatoo or something very close to it. Double thickness here, nice and stiff, single thickness there, and that circle I know will fit the top of the can. Well, that's the head, but a bird's not a bird without wings. That's easily done. Take another piece of pink paper, fold it over so it's double thickness again, draw a wing on it, and cut that out as well. And that will give you two wings of identical size and shape, and here they are, and I've coloured them in a bit to make the feathers a bit more conspicuous. Notice one's left, one's right. They'll stick on either side of the bird. But we haven't got the body of the bird. That's where the can comes in. We go back to that and get a piece of paper that's exactly the right size to go round it, not too long, not too short, and just meeting itself on the other side. And with a piece or several pieces of sticky tape, make that a good, tight fit. One piece all the way down is pretty good, but try and keep this side hidden in the finished model and it won't really matter too much. In any event, you end up with a, a can clad in paper. This is why it needs to be unbent. You're about to bend it by putting it on the table, taking a piece of wood, a ruler is very really good, and squashing it hard in one stroke down to the tabletop. Here goes, like that. Not only squashes the can, it actually bends the bottom into the shape of a rocker. So when I straighten the thing out, you'll find that standing it upright means it can rock back and forth. If it's a little bit unstable like that, just strain it a bit more, and if it's still unstable, drop a coin or a little pebble in it. In any event, that's the body of the bird. And by sticking onto it the head that you've manufactured like that, and putting a wing on either side, and trimming up a little bit, you're going to have your model bird. Well, that's a bit rough, but here's one that's been completed, and is a little bit more stable. That's the Major Mitchell cockatoo, ready to roll, and that, most improbably, is a seagull that it's talking to.